This is video 5 in how to create digital art using ArtRage 2.5. In this video, I'm going to talk about the toolbox, which is right down here. First, I'd like to show you the magnifying tool. And if you go to the left, it reduces your canvas. If you go to the right, it's back up to where it should be. Let's go back down so you can see this tool. It's your move tool. You can move your canvas all over. That's fun. And this is the rotation tool. And you can rotate your canvas. Now, if you're right-handed, this is really awesome. And I love what ArtRage developers have done. If I have an area where I can't get to because it's a little odd, say I'm trying to do something here with my right hand. Well, I can turn it and then do my painting. If I'm left-handed, I could also do the same. If you go up to Tools, you can Reset Canvas Rotation, Tools, Reset Canvas Scale, and Tools, Reset Canvas Position will take it to the absolute middle. Now, I love this toolbox. If you click Stencils, you come up with these tools. When I go to Active, I have Empty Stencils category because I haven't done anything yet with my stencils. Under Favorites, these are the stencils that I use quite a bit or have prior to this. Rulers. Now this is absolutely awesome. If you click on the ruler, it shows up. Let's get rid of this. I want to put my canvas down a little bit to show you something. Now, these are the grip handles. And what you do is click on the grip, pull it out, click on the other grip, pull it out, and if you Hold down the shift key, it will become perfectly straight. Now I can move it up or I can right click and move it anywhere I want. Now what's so cool about the, the ruler is the fact that I can't draw straight lines. I don't know too many people who can. But if you're doing something that requires it, this tool is fantastic. Now let's go into the R pen. And I want to show you that if you don't try and put your cursor right here to draw a line, you can put it right on the ruler and it's going to draw a line. And it's going to be extremely straight. I can right click, bring it down, draw another line. I can draw as many lines as I want. This is so fantastic. Now if I go back into stencils, I can pick out, say, this one. I can bring it up and I can go around the edge. Or I can go in the middle. That's just how easy ArtRage has made drawing lines. Now you can right click and you can remove your stencils. Let's go back into stencils again. And under stencils, you have quite a few that ArtRage has given you. You can even add a new stencil, which we'll go into in the next video. Under Comic, you have like Speech Bubbles, Zap Pow Blam, those are fun. Under Festive, you have Holiday Ones. Under Friskets, you have Useful Tools if you need them. Under Fun, you have a bunch more. Under Gradients, this is so cool. And under objects, 
You can have a shiny button, a shiny square, a sphere, whatever. Now, if you click the down arrow, you can load a stencil from disk. So let's go to ones. All of these I've had as stencils. As you can see, there's a lot. Let's go with the initials. And as you see, the initials are right here. Now, those are my initials, by the way. Now, the neat thing is I can take the stencil, make it bigger, or make it smaller. And then all I have to do is click on a tool. Well, let's click on a tool that's a little bit better for this. And if I right click and move it, there you have it. I have my initials without having to constantly try and write them. Now, another thing that you can do is add a new stencil category. And I could type in, like, my name. So my any stencils I make would go under this category. And I would click OK. And then it's added here. Whoops, I already added one before. Oh, well. Now, I can hide all stencils. And they go away, or I can show all stencils. I can remove all stencils from here. Or I can manage my stencils. As you can see, I have a folder. And it's empty. Objects is empty. These are the stencils in this particular uh, folder that you're going to be making. Let's get out of here. And you can move it anywhere you want by doing the grip. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to make a stencil from a picture.